Hey, do you remember my name? Karen. Do you remember his name? Andy. Do you remember what group we are? Defiant Monkey Improv. Do you remember what improv is short for? Improvisation. <laughs> do you remember what we're going to do today? No, because I didn't tell you. We're getting down to some monkey business. I'm going to teach you uh, a game that you can try. It's really hard. This is a tough one. It's called One Voice. And you need at least one other person. Almost all these, at least one other person. You can have more people, but you will want to work in pairs. <clears throat> because if you, more than two, I don't even, I, you can try it. I don't think so. But two people works well. We're going to get closer to one another. And hopefully they're the people you're with right now. So you can get closer to them. Uh, you can link arms. You can put your arms around each other. Or just do this because it's kind of warm. Uh... <laughs> Now, if there's another person in your group, and you could rotate, but if there's somebody else with you, you can ask them for questions, and you can answer them, or you can just speak this way. So what we're going to do is speak in one voice. That is, we don't know what we're going to say. However, we have to try to say the same thing at the same time. Now, that may it's not easy to do, and we are now one person. So we try to say I instead of we, because we are one person now. We're speaking in one voice. So I, we try to say I, me, my, okay? So we're gonna give it a try. Why don't we talk about our cat? Oh, my cat. Cause now we're one person. Yeah. It's gonna mess me up. Right. My cat. My, my cats, cats are very fluffy and they like to eat and sleep all the time. There is one cat who does tricks like Rolling on the floor and getting stretched. <laughs> the end. <laughs> ow, oh, ow. My head. Now, something that we would strive for and that you should strive for. Is trying to speak faster. No. Oh man. I haven't done this one in a while. No. <laughs> we don't get to do this one uh, hardly. So trying to sound normal. Oh, mm. If you love this game, practice it a lot. You can go as fast as you normally would in a sentence. Yeah. I recommend when you're trying it with someone to go slowly like we were. You can go even slower. You try to say things that might be expected. So, um, like I knew the cats were going to eat or sleep. <laughs> I knew that. Or if you have a phrase, uh, like our cats are, or my cat is, <laughs> my cat is, you know, you can kind of catch up with that. And you want to, uh, be careful because it's natural for like one person to just like take the lead and start talking and expect the other person to follow along it's kind of hard not to do that yes too, so. it is some of those words were mine some of those words were andy's that he started and i know they were because that's not what i was gonna say yeah <laughs> and there were a couple times where i was starting one word and it morphed into a different word because karen went a different direction I with it i did i thought that's it was cool. something else so that's okay just practice it so if you're a person who likes to take over that's me i would take over i just would and I would just start speaking and leave Andy in the dust. But that's not the point. The point is to speak in the one voice and also that you're both creating the sentence. So if you're one of those people who takes over, try to allow some of the words on the other one. And if you're a person who just kind of says the word one second behind the other person, catch up, take the lead. You make up the word. So see if you can do that together. Now that was called one voice and it was very hard to do. So I recommend trying it and have fun with it and 
it's okay if you mess up and say gobbledygook every now and again. Just keep trying. We have been Defiant Monkey Improv, Karen. Andy. And we are glad to have you, and we thank you tremendously for watching, and we hope you get down to some monkey business. <laughs> Cat food.